Hello everyone, good afternoon, Master 974 here again today and welcome to another Valve Hammer tutorial. This time I'm going to demonstrate how you can use the Funk Reflective Glass Entity to effectively create a reflective floor in Source to, I guess, emulate what Half-Life 2 RTX might be like if such a thing is ever going to exist. And if it is going to exist then I'm definitely going to want to play it. Um, so what you want to do is populate your map with items, so I've got barrels, a recliner, a fire, um, and once you have that then uh, you just want to take your floor for example and go control T to tie it to an entity and then make it a funk reflective glass. Uh, the funk reflective wall doesn't exist so that's just something I did to t test this because there are several problems with this. Um, so just keep that in mind but um, leaving it at the default setting should be okay um, but as we've tied this to an entity you want to make sure that your map is actually sealed properly so in my case if I turn off bush entities then you see I've got this no draw underneath where the floor is and the walls extend down beneath it um, so if you, you know turn that back on then you can texture this however you want to but Keep in mind that uh, for the Funk Reflective Glass to work, the texture in question needs to have what's called a normal map. So how do you know uh, which textures have normal maps? Well, you can go into your directory. So in this case, I'm using the Source STK Base 2013 single player. Uh, you can go into Half-Life 2, for example, go down to where it says uh, textures. Uh, I'm using GCF Scape for this. So you can actually open up .vpk files with GCFscape and if we go down to where our texture is which is in tile it's tile floor 011a and as you see we have a normal map which looks a little like this um, so yeah that means this texture is something we can use for uh, our reflective floor and so I already have the groundwork for this already written out but I'll talk through it and highlight some of the things that you need to change compared to the base actual texture. So if we open up the MISC DIR here, we can go to materials, go down to tile, go to tile floor 011A and compare and contrast the differences here. So right off the bat, we want to change the light mapped generic shader to be a light mapped reflective shader that's what we're going to use for the reflective glass then base texture we don't need to change that um, normal map we don't need to change that um, and most of the other stuff like using a bump map or well in this case it's a normal map or a env map and cube map stuff we don't need to worry about that so much um, but the things we need to add is this refract texture which is underscore rt underscore water refraction uh, refract amount we don't want it to refract so let's just set that to zero and refract tint is that if it does refract then what's the appearance going to be like and um, we just need to put anything in there for it to work so i'll just put 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.6 then the key one which is the reflect texture it's underscore rt underscore water reflection uh reflect amount set it to zero and reflect tint uh which is one 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 which is uh basically total reflectance in this case so no discoloration uh, and it's going to be using technology similar to the water shader to accurately reflect uh, the environments that's in your map as we'll see then for now power it affects reflectance and refractance so just set that to zero um, and then the key parameters really are this min reflectivity and max reflectivity and I think it is the max reflectivity that matters more. So if you set this to say one, then the floor is going to be super reflective, like totally reflective. Now that can be a little unrealistic. So what you want to do is decrease this. And so in my case to get nice subtle reflections and not be too overpowering is about 0 0.05 for this texture at least. Uh, depending on your map and what you have going on then you might want to increase this or decrease this but uh, this is the parameter you want to mess around with the most uh, and then you can add this uh, dollar sign 
from frame in zero. So I think this is all the key stuff that you need to add into your texture. And so since you save this as a .vmt and obviously rename it to be different from tile floor 011A, otherwise it will cause conflicts and then you won't be able to load the hammer editor up. Then what you can do is uh, replace the texture and then if we just search for say reflect and um, then it should come up with the tile texture here and uh, just replace that it should say only one texture has been replaced you should see it looks like you've got this missing texture which would be the real time water reflection and another key thing is that um, you have to make sure that the entire block in question here or the entire brush is texture with no draw and only the top face is the reflective texture uh, but then what you want to do is compile the map and I'll uh, show you what that looks like so basically what we want to see now is the reflectivity working as it should so if you've changed the shader name and you've changed the um, parameters like I've showed you then when you load into the game like what I'm doing right now then you should see that the world here and everything in it is getting reflected in the floor so you can see the bowels here we move the bowel and the bowel is reflected fire for example the fire is getting reflected Kleiner, Kleiner is getting reflected so you can cast shadows on this um, the one thing that doesn't seem to work is the skybox unless you don't have a skybox so you can see the buildings but they're not getting reflected and another thing is that if you don't have a 3d skybox then it looks like the skybox textures aren't correct and they aren't oriented properly so i think you see the top face okay but then it's the sides and it looks like it's the bottom instead of the top that gets reflected so obviously that's a problem and if you have multiple funk reflective glass entities in your map then it's going to cause problems if they are on different planes at the same time and active then the reflections just don't work it also doesn't work if the reflective glass is next to water um, again it just causes problems so effectively you only are allowed to use this in particular circumstances so that is the guide essentially that's all you need to do uh, so yeah that's how you create the reflective floor you just you know change the light map generic to light map reflective add in and change all the parameters as necessary the texture in question needs to have a normal map and if it doesn't then you're in the world of trouble unfortunately unless you could use say dev uh, one of the te dev textures is flat normal uh, I don't think it's going to show up in the hammer editor here because it's a normal map and they don't show those in this but um, essentially it's just like a solid color and so you could use that for uh, you know a normal map if you don't have a normal map but then it's going to be super reflective and it's not going to look uh, very nice shall we say but that's where I'm, I'm going to leave it I was going to find the texture and show it to you I think it's this one dev normal and it's just plain and there's nothing to it but um yeah uh, there's no point for me to carry on with this. this that's how you do it I showed you what it is you need to do and the sort of stuff that you need to mess around with you can play around with variables on your own accord but this is just the general how to do it and of course there's a ton of problems and I've outlined a couple of the problems that exist and really if you want to solve the problem you have to delve into the code side of things and I think a mod called MapBase has tried to do some work with this uh, but for my experimentation it doesn't seem to fix it as it fix it in the way that I would want it to be fixed let's put it that way uh, or it could just be me not doing it right but yeah I think that's the tutorial so thank you for watching and see you for the next one